Hello and welcome to this CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled SharePoint 2013 Best New Features. My name is Tim Warner. To be sure, Microsoft has revitalized and revamped their SharePoint server product. The number of new features we have in SharePoint 2013 as compared to say SharePoint 2010 is amazing. So in this short video tutorial, I'd like to share with you what I see as the biggest new features in SharePoint 2013 and why I think they're so cool. First of all, for starters, if I were to just go to the highest level and give you the bird's eye perspective of what I see is the biggest themes in SharePoint 2013. Topping the list would be cloud integration, followed shortly thereafter by an increased openness to third-party and open architectures. In other words, SharePoint plays better with other browsers, other competitors, W3C standards, etc. More on that in just a moment. First, what does this cloud integration mean? Basically, the big buzzword with Microsoft technology nowadays is are you running your infrastructure on premises? In other words, on computers that you own inside your own infrastructure, your own data center, your own offices? Or are you increasingly or completely outsourcing your infrastructure to a cloud service provider? Microsoft themselves is a big provider of cloud services. We have Office 365, which gives you access to SharePoint Online. Or you could use Windows Azure to run full virtual machines from the cloud. Now, what's the big deal with the cloud? Well, the big deal is it saves businesses a lot of money. Human resources capital, energy expenditure. It takes quite a bit of energy to keep servers running cool, for instance. There's the actual server costs. The list goes on and on for on-premises. If you're a working systems administrator, you already know what I'm talking about. So the idea of offloading all of that, and as you know, if you've worked with SharePoint, there are many moving parts from Windows Server to IIS to SQL Server. There's a lot going on, not to mention integration with Exchange and Link, etc. Wouldn't that be cool to be able to have Microsoft take care of backing all that up, tweaking all of those services, ensuring that they're up a certain percentage of time, etc. The downside to cloud integration, in my experience, is that there's a slight loss of control. Actually, it could be a big loss of control of your data. If a disgruntled employee at Microsoft gets a mind to, for instance, what's to stop them from hacking into your cloud infrastructure and stealing your data? That to me is a significant open spot or sore spot with cloud services. But I want you to know that SharePoint 2013 supports a mixture of on-premises and cloud. You can actually run in a hybrid mode where some of your services are on your premises and others are running in a Microsoft data center or actually multiple Microsoft data centers redundantly around the world. So if you're willing to take that chance with your data, it's a calculated risk to be sure, you can really save yourself some time, effort, and money in deploying SharePoint. And you can focus on what really matters, giving your users the best possible experience instead of getting hung up with all the levers and dials. Another advantage of SharePoint 2013, it's actually a new feature, is we have baked-in integration of Fast Search. Fast is a company that Microsoft acquired and sold as a bolt-on to SharePoint 2010. It gives increased search performance, focused, faceted search results, great improvement to SharePoint search. But like I said, you had to purchase, install, and configure it separately in SharePoint 2010. Now in SharePoint 2013, Fast is the default included search engine, and that makes setting this up a lot easier, believe me. Now I mentioned the other biggest, highest level new feature besides the cloud focus is increased compatibility with open web standards. For instance, now SharePoint 2013 does not rely on ActiveX controls. It used to be several years ago with SharePoint 2007, you had to use Internet Explorer. What a fatal mistake that is, right? I myself am a daily Google Chrome user on my desktop computers. I'm not going to use Internet Explorer unless I absolutely have to. Nowadays in SharePoint 2013, we have excellent fidelity. You can use any modern browser, so that would include current versions of Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Google Chrome. And not only that, we have Microsoft's increasing buy-in with HTML5, which gives cross-browser, cross-platform parity. 
so we have a much better mobile experience with SharePoint. In other words, Microsoft is waking up to the point that not everybody, or even necessarily the majority of business users, use the Internet Explorer browser. And that more and more people with this notion of bring your own device, BYOD, are accessing SharePoint portals from iPads, from Google Android tablets, from Microsoft Surface, Windows RT, or their smartphones. So we need to have SharePoint workable and usable in a mobile context. Performance-wise, we have this buzzword that you'll see in the Microsoft TechNet site called shredded storage, and that has nothing to do with security, common misconception. It's a performance improvement that's enabled by default, and basically what's happening is it sends only file changes back to the content database. So it improves the user's perceived speed at opening and working with SharePoint-based documents and document libraries. As you know, those files need to be stored and retrieved from a SQL Server database, and that historically has been a performance hit. Shredded Storage opens the file, and as I just said, only writes changes back to the database instead of the whole file. So it gives the users a much faster experience with that. Another new feature is what's called the eDiscovery site template. SharePoint is increasingly used in legal cases, and during the discovery phase when we need to gather evidence, we need to be able to quickly and easily find those records in our SharePoint portal. We also have enhancements to compliance because, again, electronic content management often deals with regulatory compliance. The compliance law might be from your government, it might be from your industry, it might be both. Another new feature is the apps model. Of course, this is a nod toward the whole Windows Metro controversy, the Windows RT, Xbox dashboard, Windows Phone 8, Windows 8, all having the same look and feel. Basically, this is pretty cool because what it enables you to do is deploy your own SharePoint apps using HTML and JavaScript and deploy them to your users from within your SharePoint portal. You actually can advertise Microsoft SharePoint apps that extend the functionality as well as third party. It's very similar to the Windows Store or the Apple App Store. It's the same motif, this apps model, and should make it a little bit easier to extend the functionality of SharePoint compared to previous versions where you had to essentially build and compile and deploy and manage your own SharePoint custom features and solution packages. Wrapping things up here, I know that I'm getting short on time and there are so many new features in SharePoint 2013. You might have used Business Connectivity Services or BCS to surface data from external data repositories. These could be external SQL Server databases, could be an Oracle database. As I said, Microsoft is gradually embracing open technology. We have OData and OAuth. OData is an open platform for data access. OAuth is the same idea, only applied to token-based authentication. So basically, in a nutshell, we have an easier time in SharePoint surfacing data from third-party services external services and making those available to our users. We have a totally revamped workflow engine. Workflows can run in the cloud separately from SharePoint for performance and also for scalability. The SharePoint designer tool adds value. It's always been really good at developing workflows, although unfortunately SharePoint Designer 2013 doesn't have the graphical workflow component anymore. And finally, we have the Machine Translation Service, which is cloud-based translation for site and document content. A lot of great new features, friends. I hope that this little introduction has whet your appetite to learn more. Please check out my own training for CBT Nuggets on SharePoint 2013. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.